G'day, uh, I'm Lachlan Marshall. I wanted to make this video today to highlight some of the water issues that are facing not only our business here at Blighty in the Riverina, but our industry's issues uh, that we're facing at the moment. In 2006, we began milking 400 cows here seasonally, the three of us with one employee. Uh, and now in 2019, we milk 900 cows three times a day with 20 employees. We were able to build all of this and invest heavily all off the back of the ability to grow affordable homegrown forage. And that was done through an affordable and reliable water market. But particularly in the last few years, we've seen that become less reliable, more erratic, and definitely more expensive. And this has had some huge impacts on our business and the way we plan for the future. So three years ago, we changed to this um, intensive feeding system with a, a huge investment and this was based off the back of what we were seeing happening around water and the need to use the water we had more efficiently. So we're growing twice the amount of fodder with half the amount of water that we did when we were seasonal grazers. This system comes with uh, extra costs of course but our production, this operation now, we, we send out over 12 million litres of milk annually here now. Unfortunately in a year like this, we've seen a tectonic shift in water price and availability. We're spending in excess of $400,000 a month on water. My, uh, my 20 staff all live locally. They all shop locally. They all have kids in schools locally. They all visit the local pubs and attractions, uh, as well as the business itself, which is spending well in excess of a million and a half dollars on uh, injecting back into the community on things like seed fertiliser, uh, parts, investment in machinery. Uh, sit on a zero allocation, uh, which is causing not only for our operation but our neighbours and, and the entire dairy industry in the Riverina here, a great amount of financial and mental anguish and stress. It's very hard to run a business when one of your greatest inputs is out of your control and you're watching it go past your front gate flooding out in the forest, going to waste due to mismanagement, poor communication, departmental failings, elected official failings, and every time that we go back to these people asking for answers, we get nothing but lip service and nothing delivered on farm level. This Friday we have the opportunity again for another allocation, and I implore and beg that if there's any opportunity to get us any allocation of any sort, please help us out. Uh, the, the relief that it would bring to, to struggling dairy farmers in the region, the, the you know it could not be could not be measured, uh, the relief that it would bring. Thank you.